ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hong Jung Han, and I'm the first speaker of Proposition South. Today, this house supports the U.S. Korea FTA, and in order to win today's debate, we must show that there are plenty of economic benefits we can get from the FTA. As a, as a first speaker, I'll talk about the competitive power of Korean companies and <coughs> credit rating of Korea. And second speaker, now he will talk about the welfare of the citizen. And third speaker, Sunyar, will talk about a wisdom of our ideas and explain why our side of the house won the debate. And first, I define the major term of the motion and move on to my point. So we define the FTA as an agreement which eliminates a trade barrier for free movements of products between countries. FTA promotes the competitive power of Korean companies. The most important thing in the market is good quality and cheap price. On China, Korean companies cannot compete well with foreign companies because of high price. For example, when Korean car companies like Hyundai or Kia export cars, cars have 2.5% of custom own price as customs. However, according to Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, KDI, which stands for Korean Development Institution, and KIEP, which stands for Korean Institute for International Economic Policy, customs applied to under 3,000 cubic centimeter displacement car are eradicated immediately through T FTA. And customs for over 3,000 cubic centimeter Displacement cars are abolished for three years and pick up trucks, pick up trucks for ten years. <coughs> <coughs> also, tires and car components are, are will also be duty free. Therefore, car price in the US or USA will greatly decrease. Now, price of Korean medium-sized car in USA is two thousand twenty-seven thousand three hundred thirty-five dollars in average. This will decrease by $667, so that we can have price competitiveness compared to Japanese car, which cost $29,125. Also, foreign investors will be more interested in Korean companies through FTA. According to 2000 Gallup research, in preference category, South Korea was ninth among 23, 22 countries. It means that foreign con it means that Foreign countries' preference to South Korea is nice. It seems to be high, but India and Egypt are higher than South Korea, and North Korea, China, Russia are nearly, nearly the same length with Korea. We can lift it up by concluding FTA because through FTA, Korean products will spread out all over the US. No thanks. <laughs> all over the US using cheaper price. Also, FTA makes credit rating of Korea goes up. According to Moody's Investor Service, FTA between Korea and the U.S. will have a positive effects on South Korea's credit. We can get various advantages from <coughs> credit rating of nation. First, Korean company can easily raise the overseas funds. With overseas funds, we can broaden our market into overseas and that will be helpful for economic growth. Second, there will be an increase in foreign loan limit and a decrease in the loan interest. So this will help our companies to borrow more money for, from com foreign companies. So this also helps companies to invest more their, invest their money for their products. Yes. Because now our our products are relatively <laughs> high price, but when we conclude FTA, prices prices will goes down. Then the interest of foreign foreign investors will goes up because because of cheap price and. <coughs> Third, increased public investment can have positive positive <coughs> effect on stock market. And 
So for this aspect, our style of the house strongly supports the Korea US FTA. And second speaker, Nahi, will talk about the welfare of the citizens. Thank you. Okay, Jo Min Ha is the first speaker for the outside. Let's welcome her. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today's debate is about the FTA between Korea and the United States, and we, the, the opposition side, strongly believes that the FTA is disadvantageous to Korea. In order to win this debate, our side of the house must prove that the, the disadvantages uh, from contracting the agreement largely outweigh the, the advantages uh, from take, contracting the FTA. Uh, as the first speaker for the opposition side, I will bring uh, I will bring our first point, which is that from take from, from contracting FTA, the polarization of uh, of the corporations and consumers will deepen. <coughs> and the second speaker, Taeyun, will. Uh, Jayun will talk about the the actual disadvantages in three parts of industries, which are uh, agricultural, pharmaceutical, and movie industries. Okay, uh, I'll move on, move into my first argument. <coughs> When FTA comes into effect, tariffs uh, the polarization of the polarization will deepen for both corporations and and citizens. When FTA, FTA comes into effect, tariffs will be abolished, and this will lead to fierce price competition. As a result, weak companies, especially minor enterprises, will go bankrupt. Um, you have previously mentioned that um, the FTA will lead to fewer, um, fewer competition in prices, and um, does this speaker believes that um, this will lead to even more price competition since um, the price of imported goods will go down? But um, she would like to know why why this um, the first speaker of the opposition team believes that there will be fewer competition in prices. Oh, I said fears. <laughs> <laughs> As a result, the companies will go bankrupt or go into downsizing, which will cause unemployment rate to rise significantly. And over the overall overall employment will increase, but the quality of employment will be actually lowered. Because uh, the employment in service areas and some specific areas will increase, but the irregular employment will increase compared to the regular employment.
And for example, Mexico has contracted FDA with the United States in 1994. And Mexico's <coughs> uh, exports has tripled and their foreign in investment has in their foreign investments increased four times compared to compared to uh, uh, compared to before the before contracting the FTA. However, their purchasing power is extremely low compared to the growing economy of Mexico, which ranks 80th of the 223 countries. by 7.75% after Korea and US FTA. Ladies and gentlemen, I would, I, um, <clears throat> the point I want, want to make here is that um, ratification of FTA will promote welfare of the citizens. Here I would like to um, clarify this, um, this term, welfare, and according to Oxford, Oxford <coughs> Dictionary, welfare, <coughs> mean, welfare of someone means happiness, comfort, and health. <coughs> And here I am referring to comfort and affluence in life of citizens. Thank you. Um, um, the, there are two evidences that to back up this argument. First, the price of imported goods will go down um, after after Korea US FTA. And second, there will be a variety of imported goods for citizens to um, choose from. Now I would like to explain these evidences along with some real real life examples. First, price of imported goods will go down. In US Korea FTA, um, Korea agreed on abolishing tariff on imported American made American imported goods, which is now about 16% of tariff <coughs> tariff, and this will definitely lower the um, trade barrier between two two countries. According to one of the most renowned newspapers in Korea, Donga, one pack of Sunkist orange, um, which cost 7,000 won. 7,001 will be, um, be lowered to about 4,601. And American butter, which costs 4,001, will be lowered to 2,101, uh, 2 which is almost a half the price. And then the American brie cheese will originally cost 6,001, will lower to 4,401 after the US and Korea FDA. 
this lower price will not only bound to agricultural no, products. No, thank you. Um, agricultural products, but the most of products and services that are made in America, such as golf club, coffee, snacks, cars, and so on. Now, <clears throat> American products are decisively cheaper than domestic products. Demand for American goods will increase, and naturally, more American goods will come into our market. And hence, this is the second evidence, which means that there is a variety of products in the market for people to choose from. To sum up, the Korea's, Korean citizen will be able to consume high quality products at lower price and have many kinds of products in the market which eventually will relieve the stress and burden of sit on citizens because of, because of recent high prices. Thus, I have proved to you that the FDA promotes welfare of citizens. Um, and here I would like to make point that this speaker is fully aware that there, this is a very controversial controversial issue because um, F the opponents of FTA <laughs> claim that FTA will create tremendous damage to Korean, Korean agriculture and farmers will have to sit, sit out on the streets. However, I would like to assure, assure the audience that it is not so bad as it sounds like. First reason is because um, FTA is not, there is no clause about the rice and rice is um, one of the most dominant agricultural products in Korea. And many Koreans are worried about the um, fall of rice, fr rice farming after FDA. However, this FDA has managed to exclude rice fr and protect Korean rice farmers and industry. In addition, there are various kinds of protective measures taken in order to um, protect other agricultural products such as beef and beans. Um, second reason, um, the government, or with government already announced that um, the government itself is aware of the, um, aware of the damages that will cause to the farmers. And then, and the Gulf, Korean government already have announced that um, the government will <coughs> support its farmers with all with all strength, and uh, <coughs> and they measured about 23 trillion won to be used in order to support the Korean farmers. And also, they proposed realistic methods in order to protect the Korean farmers, such as improving circulation of products and inventing innovative, effect, innovative and effective way to grow products. And um, I would like to move on to the uh, rebuttal. The first speaker of the opposition team had mentioned um, FTA between Mexico, Mexico, America, and Canada, the NAFTA. However, this, this speaker believes that it is not a, log not a logical example to come up with because Mexico was not, was not as developed as um, state of Korea right now when they, they um, ratified the NAFTA. Um, also, the NAFTA in Korea, US, the NAFTA in the Korea, uh, Korean US FTA is very different in, in, its, in its agreement. Therefore, it is, not, it is not logical to compare Korea and US FTA to NAFTA. And now I would like to give the floor to the second speaker of the opposition team. Speaker for the outside. Let's welcome her. I'm the second speaker on the op opposition side, and I will first elabor elaborate on our points, and then further rebut the opposition, uh, the proposition side points. Our side is fully aware that FDA will bring economic benefits in some industries, increasing exports and decreasing unemployment. <coughs> However, the government does not have practical solution to serious damages FDA will bring to um, weak and newborn industries and small companies, which are not able to handle the competition. This causes imbalances among industries and widen gaps between large and small companies. There are three industries that are going to be, uh, there, there are three main industries that are going to have damages after FDA. First is agriculture, second pharmacy, and third movie industry. And I will elaborate on those points. First, FDA brings damage to agriculture industry in Korea. First, agriculture production will decrease. 
According to Korea Rural Economic Institute, 2 trillion to 8 trillion worth of agricultural production will decrease due to FDA. Considering that our total agricultural production is 20 trillion won, 10 to 44 percent of production will decrease. Second, there will be uh, Koreans will heavily rely on foreign um, agricultural products. The government removed tariffs from agriculture products. Relatively cheap U.S. products will flow in. Then why is this such a problem? Why is um, this decrease in production and increase in import a serious problem? This will lead to a decrease in income of each household involved in agriculture, and the agricultural population will also decrease. Experts predict that more than 1 million of agricultural population to decrease and if Korean government does not come up with a solution, these, um, these uh, farmers will lose their jobs and it will be hard to maintain farmland. So, although 100,000 jobs are created through FDA, half of 3.5 million farmers will lose their jobs. Uh, Okay, second, the po second point is that FDA will bring damage to pharmaceutical industries in Korea. Small companies relying on uh, pro reproducing medicines from U.S. products will collapse. If FDA is contracted, companies will have to develop their own medicine. But infrastructure such as workforce for developing new medicine and experience are limited in Korea. So companies cannot provide quality medicine that can compete with U.S. products. So pharmaceutical companies will hurt from FDA and consumer will also have great disadvantages because consumer has to rely on U.S. products, uh, expensive U.S. products, and this will increase their uh, medical expenses. <coughs> Our last point is that FDA will bring damage to movie industries. Korean films are not in competitive enough to fight against Hollywood blockbusters. And if government contracts the agreement, it would be an unfair competition. According to Korean Film Council, amount of money spent on making films in the U.S. is average $102 million, while Korean movies is only $3.49 million. Hollywood occupies 80% of the world's market, and foreign movies only occupy 1% percentage of Korean, I mean, U.S. markets. Ladies and gentlemen, is this a fair competition? It's almost impossible to export Korean movies to U.S., and Koreans prefer watching Hollywood movies. According to Weekly Joseon, Korean movies viewers decreased by 5%, while viewers of U.S. movies increased 30% after screen quota was reduced. So, the conclusion that I want to make is that FTA discouraged weak industries and companies. The government is just asking all the responsibility to the companies to compete with no support or resources. And how about the workers who are, who will, who are working on, on these industries? They'll lose their jobs and they'll probably have problems in their life. And I want to move to the rebuttals of the uh, proposition side. Um, the proposition, the first speaker <coughs> mentioned about the cheaper price and the increase in investment. Well, our side doesn't believe that there is no cor uh, correct correlation between those two. And uh, the opposition, team also talked about com competitive power. We believe that this competitive power is only gained in big or large companies, like small and newborn companies don't have much power and infrastructure to compete with this U.S. Uh, market, so it's not uh, all the companies are going to gain competitiveness. And, and the opposition, uh, the proposition said that the welfare of citizens will increase, but in general, maybe the consumer will have diverse choice, but consider the 
uh, the workers who work in these industries like um, pharmaceutical industries and like agriculture industries and movie industries, are they going to have harm? They are, they're going, most of them will have some kind of harm or they'll lose their jobs and it's a serious problem. And the opposition also mentioned about Mexico FTA. Well, US, F well, yes, US is a developed uh, nation, but according to uh, the data, Canada, uh, we also contracted a FTA uh, with Canada, and the, the, and it was estimated that 64 billion to 110 billion uh, dollars will reduce after the FTA, but uh, with U.S. Own more than two trillion to uh, two trillion to eight trillion worth um, dollars will decrease after FTA with U.S. And thank you, speaker. Okay. Now it's time for two floor speeches. It'll be Bae Jong and Han Ji Hyun. Uh, any preference on which side? If either the two of you want. Opposition. Proposition. Okay. Uh, so Ji Hyun, you'll be opposition. <laughs> So, and not explaining uh, how the disadvantages outweigh, out, outweigh the advantages enough, they're leaving um, the decision of whether it really does outweigh the advantages or not up to the judges. And I honestly didn't find that con uh, convincing enough. Okay, thank you, sir. Agree. With? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the proposition side mentioned the economic benefits um, after the uh, FTA with the United States. Also, they mentioned the welfare, the welfare of Koreans will increase. However, I believe that um, these two benefits will be um, will in, will improve if the health and um, the jobs of Koreans will be insured and guaranteed by the Korean government. And I believe that these two factors are the most important that important factors that Koreans pursue. Um, so I think that the basic conditions of Koreans, after the basic conditions of the Koreans are improved, then um, there will be the chance to improve the economic benefits and welfare by trading with the United States. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and it looks like Beck Jeho is the last opposition speaker. Let's welcome him. First of all, I want to give respect to the judges who have, pati who have patiently listened to both sides' horrifying logics. <laughs> <laughs> While they claim abolishing trade barriers will give more consumer choice at lower price, they ignore the industries which will suffer severely. Moreover, they failed providing proper solutions. After the FTA goes into operation, half of 3.5 million farmers and workers in industries without competitiveness are expected to lose their jobs. 
free trade agreements basically require, requires intense competition between countries, and so there is a good possibility that most newborn or weak industries like pharmaceutical companies will be severely damaged. And because there will be no trade barriers to save them anymore. Moreover, the FTA will cause the polarization between companies. If the large companies of the U.S. Uh, compete with small or middle-sized firms in Korea in the same market, it is obvious that small and medium-sized firms will collapse due to competition, as the first speaker has mentioned. And more, uh, lastly, diverse industries like pharmaceutical, agricultural, and movie industry will be damaged, which is claimed by the second speaker. The FTA between Korea and the US does give an opportunity to industries in Korea that have comparative advantage like IT, automobile, and textile. But FTA is not a panacea indeed. It also demands the sacrifice of the industries that do not have comparative advantage. Still, there aren't any effective measures that are taken to protect those industries. And what our team claims is that we have to delay the FTA until this country finds any good method to save vulnerable industries. I believe you, the honorable judges, will make the decision wisely. Thank you for listening. is the last speaker for the proposition side. Let's welcome him. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. On the behalf of the proposition team, I'm here to support the proposition, Korean American FTA. And to support this motion, our side of the team sh uh, showed how the FTA could benefit Korea. And also, our team provided reasonable examples and statistics to support this idea. First speaker of our team mentioned about increasing Korean companies' competitive power. After FTA, price of Korean product in U.S. market will go down as the products become tax-free. And when it does, it will be much more easier for Korean companies to sell their products. We gave example of Korean cars, how the price can decrease after the US, Korean U.S. FTA. The first speaker also talked about benefits Korea can get from national credit increase. When the national credit increase, Korean companies can easily raise the overseas funds. Also, there will be an increase in foreign loan remit, to, and there will be also a decrease in the loan interest. Finally, there will be a positive effect on stock market due to increase in public investment. The second speaker talked about welfare of the citizens. After the FTA, the citizens will have more variety of choices in consuming goods. Also, the price of both imported and domestic goods will go down to compete with one another. Our team gave reasonable examples and showed you how this price decrease is not only bound to crops, but also other services and products that are imported from the US. Openness team who does thinks that Korean US FTA is not beneficial, said that the polarization will deepen between the small companies and the large, large companies. However, this is not true because government already pro pro proposed that they will support the small, small companies in to research for new technologies. And also, uh, Korea is already capable of developing new, new drugs, and if the uh, R&D investment increases, uh, it is a matter of time that the gap between American pharmaceutical uh, market 
the gap between Korean and American films. And also, K Korean movies already have ability to compete with <laughs> Hollywood movies. And I have a wonderful example, which is uh, one of Korean movies, Shuri. To sum up, my, no my honorable judges, Korean American FTA are definitely beneficial to Korea. <coughs> Firstly, it gives Korean companies a competitive power to survive in the global market. Secondly, there are a series of economical benefits Korea can get economic. as a national grid. What's economical mean? Economic benefits Korea can get as the national credit increases. Lastly, FTA will escalate the public welfare by lowering the price of the goods and amplifying the choices. My honorable judges, please not neglect the these benefits Korea can get from the FTA, and please vote for us, the proposition side, who strongly supports the Korean American FTA. Thank you.